I think one of the things that you guys probably don't know about me is that I've had surgery on my right ankle. It was probably for something really unnecessary, at least to me. My mom was really bothered that I had a turquoise beauty mark as big as a ladybug on my ankle. It never really bothered me at all. And I remember going to the doctors and she was like, yes, please get rid of it. And the doctor scribbled and made an appointment. Surgery? I was like, whoa, 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 in my head. I never signed up for this. I was freaking out the day before it was scheduled and I had to cut class in high school for this. It really sat uneasy for me. I remember not getting any sleep and you're also not supposed to eat before surgery and you guys know how much I love food. So all I remember is, you know, clearly on this day that it was really cold. It was during the fall season in New York and you know, it's breezy, windy, just cold. And the minute I stepped into the hospital and approaching the desk to check in, I began to feel my nerves kick in. I felt like a pig being led to the slaughterhouse. How does it feel to get knocked out by anesthesia? Will I be asleep? What if I woke up halfway? What if I never wake up? Can I fight the anesthesia? A lot of stuff was racing through my mind as I was led into a room to disrobe and change into the patient robe and clearly it is barely a robe since the back was open. I remember being wheeled out on a stretcher to the room. Bright lights. And I remember being moved to the operating table. It was scary. It was made out of steel and it was really, really, really cold. And I remember feeling that weird feeling of that chill down your spine as well. And being strapped at each, like on, on my wrist, on both of them. And I was stretched out. There were nurses pasting things around my body and soon I heard a blip every single time my heart beated. I was also being prodded with a needle which I'd assume it was the IV and also the anesthesia being administered. Wow, I can't even say that word. A administered into my body. I remember it being and getting colder and colder and I remember my body went into a shock. I started shaking like violently shaking, and the nurse put on a blanket over me. I remember telling myself, don't fall asleep, and it turned black. I eventually woke up. It wasn't the type of slumber you go into when you're tired, that kind of wake up. It felt like you got revived in Battlefield. I felt like I knew I was not really up because I went to sleep, but knocked out by something unnatural. My vision was blurry as I tried to open my eyes and I started to adjust my focus and I saw my mom. It was so refreshing to see her there. Then it hit me. I just had surgery and I was sat reclined on the hospital bed and still there is a fucking IV stuck in my arm. I felt a strange feeling on the right side of my ankle. He was numbing, but very warm. I moved my blankets to reveal a bandaged ankle. I think I was released after an hour of waking up, and this made me really appreciate life. I was pretty healthy. I can't imagine what other people with serious medical conditions have to go through. Going into surgery like, you know, it was walking a dog, because there are some people with conditions where you have to constantly you know, get surgeries like walking a dog, and the hospital being a second home. That does not seem really fun. And the people who don't have family available to be there for them when they wake up after surgery seems really sad. Now, recovering was something I had to really deal with. I don't think my mom really understood what something small as a blemish to her on my ankle caused for me in a month to try to recover was shit time for me. I couldn't run anymore. I was excused from the gym, you know, sitting on the side, watching my classmates exercise because if I did any, exert anything, um, it would probably cause my, uh, 
my injury to just bleed a lot more because you're supposed to sit sit tight and barely move and let your you know wound close up and you know dry up whatever and whenever I would try to put my pants on I struggled because it hurt to lift my leg and it would stretch the skin around that area and it would kind of make it bleed and you don't want to do that and I had to make sure I changed the bandages daily and it was a nuisance sometimes because I had to change it often because, you know, like I said, if you stretch your skin too much, the scab breaks and it bleed again. And I really, really have so much respect for anyone who's going through surgery. And, you know, that's only half the battle because recovering, it, it takes time. So I'm just wondering with you guys, has anyone had surgery? Please let me know how it was for you. And my heart really does go out to those who are now going through this. It's pretty scary. <laughs>